From Marx's theories to the rhetoric of the totalitarian communist regimes, all were filled with the principle of reliance on the proletarian workers and peasants and promises to represent their interests. But in practice, it was the working class that suffered the greatest abuses under the communist system. A. Suppressing the Soviet workers and peasants. In 1918, after Lenin illegally disbanded the Constituent Assembly, it was the workers who were the first to resist the communist dictatorship. Protesting the dissolution of the Assembly, tens of thousands of workers from Petrograd and Moscow held parades and demonstrations. Bolshevik soldiers cracked down on the unrest with lethal force, gunning down demonstrators and filling the streets of Petrograd and Moscow with the workers' blood. The country's largest labor union, the All-Russian Union of Railway Men, announced a strike to protest the Bolshevik coup and gained the broad support of many other labor organizations. As it did with the workers of Petrograd and Moscow, the Communist Party of the Soviet Union put down the strikers with its armed forces, and the All-Russian Union and other independent unions were banned. Remaining labor organizations were gradually forced under the control of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union.